Hi, I'm Jordan Quill and I'm a second year PhD student at the Courtauld Institute, um, specialising in the textiles and architecture of northern India during the Mughal period. And today I'm going to be talking to you about a fragment of a Mughal carpet that is part of the Harris collection that came to the Courtauld in 1972. The thing that I'm going to focus on today when looking at this carpet is the fibre that makes up its pile. The, the carpet is composed of a cotton warp and a silk weft, and the pile itself is made from a, a fibre called pashmina fibre, which is harvested from the pashmina goat. The pashmina fibre is often referred to as Kashmir, and this derives not from the fibre itself, which comes from the pashmina goat, but from the region in which Kashmir shawls were woven using the pashmina fibre. Kashmir has also been corrupted by British spelling, spelling it with a C instead of a K. The magical properties of pashmina fibre mean that it's even more thermally efficient than silk, and silk piles are known for their richness and luxurious nature in other parts of the Islamic world, whereas in India, availability of the pashmina fibre harvested from neighbouring western Tibet meant that the fibres that they used in the pile of their carpet were even more luxurious. The design of this carpet in particular is related to a group that were made during the 1650s, which was the height of the Emperor Shah Jahan's reign. It was about the time also when he shifted the capital of the Mughal Empire from Agra to Delhi and created his new city, Shah Jahanabad. Shah Jahanabad was made in an area which incorporated the Red Fort or Lal Kila, and this was um, renovated by Shah Jahan who favoured motifs such as this which were used on carpets made during his reign. Decorating the walls of the Diwani Khas, the private audience hall in the Red Fort, floral motifs like this were inlaid into stone and woven into carpets. They were on the sashes of the Mughal emperors as they moved around within the court. And they were also found on other monuments built by Shah Jahan, such as the Taj Mahal, which is the most famous building from the Mughal empire that exists today. This kind of floral motif is synonymous with the reign of Shah Jahan and it's found not only in carpets but in other textiles that were used in the Mughal court. This cotton floor spread, probably from Burhanpur, at around the same time that the carpet was made, is now in the Victoria and Albert Museum in London. This extraordinary cotton floor spread is mordant painted in resist dyed and the repetition of the poppy motif, which includes subtle variations between each flower, suggests that the design was produced with a combination of block printing and stencil work, with individual details added using the kalamkari, or literally, pen work technique. This is just one of hundreds of fragments in the Courtauld collection, which has so far escaped the notice of many scholars in the UK and abroad. We hope by highlighting some of the examples from this collection that it will encourage scholarship to develop at the Courtauld in textiles.